What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to basically tell you how to fix every kind of not launching and not starting issue you're currently having in Halo. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you would support my work in YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So the first step is gonna be to navigate to the very bottom of your screen where you're gonna right click onto your taskbar, gonna open up your task manager. And simply navigate to the top left corner where you're gonna click onto processes and once you click your processes I want you to click one of those random processes doesn't really matter which one and type in H in order to find Halo if nothing pops up It's good for you if something pops up simply right click and end the task Once you're finished, I want you to end the task manager again and the next step is gonna be to take your Steam or your Halo shortcut on your desktop and if you don't have it on your desktop simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're going to click onto the Windows symbol and use your Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, simply drag it right back on your desktop. Let's quickly come back, take it, right click it and go to the very bottom where it says properties. Once you clicked on that, I want you to click compatibility and simply enable run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8. Disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend to restart your PC afterwards and once it is restored you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right on your shortcut. Afterwards I want you to double click it and simply launch a game or launch your game over the launcher. This will probably fix your issue. Yeah guys that's it for the video, I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that just leave a like, a comment or a subscription, I'm gonna really be thankful for that. And yeah guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.